Welcome to the beginner's course uh, on data science with Python for SEO. This is a quick intro on, on the course that you might be interested in taking. So um, this is a beginner's course, as mentioned. Uh, you've never coded before, so we're going to be starting from scratch. Uh, also, it is not an SEO course, so I'm, I'm assuming you know the basics, and we're not going to be covering SEO. We're going to be focusing on what you can do with your data uh, for SEO. Um, I'm going to show you some examples here that you will eventually be able to do after taking the course. Okay, so this, this course is gonna be much, much more basic stuff, but eventually, if you're wondering why would I be interested in this course, well, because eventually you might be doing uh, these kinds of things, which is something that we're gonna jump right into uh, right now. Um, I'm sure you've seen this uh, text file before, a robots.txt file, very simple, very small. A uh, few lines of text and and we want to see what we might be able to do with it. Well, it turns out we can do a lot. So This is an example. Uh, this is the um, foreignpolicy.com XML sitemap um, Audit and analysis report. So this is their, their, their homepage um, The first thing we can do is is convert the the sitemap into a table just like this so basically an Excel sheet we can, we can right away discover issues here that they have 240,000 duplicated URLs. Uh, we can also run various checks um, that whether or not uh, the sitemaps exceed 50,000 uh, URL limit. So it seems we have 234 uh, sitemaps with a maximum of 2,000 um, URLs per sitemap. We can, we can check the same for the size. Things get much more interesting here, which is when we convert a list of URLs and split them uh, into their components, directory one, directory two, query path, etc., and now convert the list of URLs to a table. Uh, more interesting is also the, the publishing date that they have over here, which we extract and call PubDate, and now we can, we can see the publishing trends of this uh, publication, right? We can see interesting patterns over here. Uh, we can compare this to the last mod. Um, various other reports, we can count the words, um, we can even make this an interactive app, so we can count the words that are only in a certain date range, okay? What are the topics that they covered between this year and this year? You can even go deeper with uh, specific filters and uh, see what they covered on this topic in this date range. Okay, so that was a quick intro about what this course is about. If this is something that you're interested in, you can sign up, otherwise uh, you can get in touch for more information. And I hope you do sign up and I hope to see you at the course. Thank you.